church family, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're going to watch this. Uh, we are excited to bring to you the second, in, not the second, just another installment of our character study. We're going through different uh, figures in church history, and so we are really excited. Um, usually Nate uh, does the intro, but I decided to do the intro today because um, sometimes he doesn't study the same person we're supposed to be studying, and so there's a whole mix-up. So I'm going to ask Nate... Nate, who are we studying today? Well, David, I'm pleased to say that uh, I started out studying Justin Bieber, but I realized <laughs> that was the wrong character study, and I got it right, and I went to Justin the First, who is a, a uh, leader of the church, uh, the Eastern Church, 500 A.D., and uh, made peace with the Pope and stuff. So interesting figure. Well, as good as those figures are, Nate, you are wrong. I never liked to admit when I am wrong. <laughs> yeah. So today we're studying Justin Martyr. He was a second century Christian. He was born around 100 AD and he died around 165 AD. He was born to unbelieving parents and so he grew up uh, not as a Christian, but he went to school to study philosophy. Nate, actually, you can, um, you can identify with him because you actually have a bachelor's degree in philosophy, right? I do. Yeah, so Nate is aware of all the Greek philosophy um, that Justin Martyr was surrounded by and that he studied. His main goal as a philosopher, as any philosopher, was to understand the meaning of life. And so those are questions like Socrates and Plato and uh, Aristotle even asked, um, just trying to figure out what the meaning of life was. And through his study, there's a story that an old man came to him, shared the gospel of Jesus with him, and then at the age of 32, he became a Christian. And so then he devoted his whole life to show that Jesus is the answer for those life questions that the philosophers were always asking. Yeah. Um, tell me, uh, why is Justin Martyr so important a figure in uh, church history? Why is he important for us to, to look at? Yeah. Well, uh, he is super important because other than Jesus and Paul, he is the first person in Christian history to answer the questions of these philosophers with Christian truth. As you know, Greek philosophers always ask the question, what is the meaning of life? What is the meaning of air? Where do we come from? All that kind of stuff. And Justin Martyr, not Bieber, always uh, returned to scripture and to Jesus as the answer of those questions. He also aided in the creation of what's known as the doctrine of Logos. Uh, and if you don't know your Greek, that's okay. Uh, Logos simply means word. And what this doctrine teaches is that it teaches that humans understand reality because humans share in the Logos that is the basis for all reality. Now, Justin Martyr is very smart, and so when I read that for the first time, I was like, what does that mean? And it was very confusing, and so I had to dumb it down. And what it simply means is that there is a reason for something, and there is a reason for everything. And for Justin Martyr, purpose. purpose. Yeah, and, what, and for Justin Martyr, the answer is Jesus. It's based on the truth that is found in Scripture about Jesus and Jesus who himself is called the Logos of, of God in the Gospel of John. He shares that Jesus, uh, or since Jesus became flesh and lived among us, we are then able to have access to God, in, who is the author and source of all reality. Since according to John 1.9, uh, the Logos of God uh, would give light to everyone in the darkness in order to see clearly. Yeah. Uh, part of that is uh, that Logos idea is John begins with, in the beginning was the Word. And so Jesus is the agent of creation. And in that, all of creation is this revelation of God. Mm -hmm. uh, certainly it's fallen and marred by sin now. But it's part, it, it, that, that argument is why, man, a beautiful sunset touches our soul uh, in unique ways. Mm -hmm. Uh, because there's a way in which we are uh, experiencing a revelation of God through nature. And so it's a great whole picture of the universe and, and reason uh, and purpose. Yeah. So that's great. Uh, what can we learn from Justin Martyr today, David? It's a good question. Uh, there's a few things that I think we can learn <clears throat> from Justin Martyr. The first is God can use unbelievers to bring himself glory. Justin Martyr, uh, through studying him, he believed that uh, these Greek philosophers were in some way believers, like Christians. Um, I don't think we would agree with him, but we can still say that these Greek philosophers opened up a way for people to um, ask the question, what is truth and what is the meaning of life? 
And so it's this truth that God can use even unbelievers to bring himself glory. Mm -hmm. And in a time of post-postmodernism where we are now, it's all the more important for us to understand that Jesus is that firm foundation of truth that we can stand on. And Justin Martyr aided in Christians being able to understand just how confident they can be uh, standing on Jesus as the truth. The other thing is that um, there are benefits to reading other works. Um, I think it's a challenge for us now to, to read things that we may not agree with because as Christians, we, we aren't meant to just be closed-minded. We're meant to read other things. And also that opens up our, an opportunity for us to talk about other things with other people in different uh, spheres of influence when we open ourselves up to, to what they say. But always return to truth as Justin Martyr did, which was found in the person of Jesus and Scripture. And then the last lesson I think we can learn is to trust uh, in Jesus to guide us through the darkness. Um, my mom always said that the world is a dark place. And as I look at my life now, and as I look at all the cultural uh, unrest and disorder and chaos going around us, um, it's all the more important to look to Jesus um, as that light to guide us in the darkness. And I am full of confidence when I know that I have my, my eyes fixated on Jesus um, to guide me through, through the darkness. And I think that's a beautiful gift that we get to have as believers, a risen Savior guiding us in, in uh, the darkness. I thought your mother liked everybody. No, she did not. One of the things that I really got from, or really enjoy about Justin, Bieber, uh, Justin Martyr <laughs> is that he, he presents a holistic picture mm -hmm. of the world. And, um, and in that, our faith becomes really, really logical. And so people often put faith and logic on opposite ends of a spectrum. And they say, well, you, you can have faith, you can have logic, but you can't have both. Well, that's a false dichotomy. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we look at things from a Christian perspective, what we're seeing is that our intellect, our mind, our ability to perceive things, to know things, to discern truth, has been given to us by God mm -hmm. for the enjoyment of Him and His person and, and His creation. And so faith and intellect work hand in hand mm -hmm. uh, for the believer. And in fact, the Christian uh, worldview, the Christian perspective, the Christian life is the most reasonable and intellectually satisfying, justifiable mm -hmm. uh, worldview. And so Justin Martyr does a great job of putting all that together. And within the Christian worldview, we can relax and rejoice in that. Despite all the attacks on our faith, uh, man, we know that we were made to enjoy uh, Jesus and to enjoy God. Yeah. And, and uh, our intellect is not in contrast to our faith. It is in correspondence to mm -hmm. um, one thing, I'll add one more piece to that. Science is always changing. It's what makes it science, right? Mm -hmm. That's why we pay scientists to correct the theories and beliefs of the past scientific statements and to refine them. So science is always changing, and our faith is remaining constant. Yeah. And those, those things are great. Sure. All right. Final thoughts on Justin Martyr. Yeah. Uh, so final thoughts on Justin Martyr, not Bieber, uh, is that I'm reminded that humanity, whether we want to admit it or, or not, is seeking truth. We're seeking to find a solid ground to plant our feet on in the midst of chaos and disorder. And I think Justin Martyr reveals to us that Jesus is that firm foundation that we can stand on. Jesus himself said in John 14, 6, he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And it's that idea that he is the source of truth. He is the only way to, Jesus, to, to God and life. And so Justin Martyr reveals, you know, that we are all looking for truth, and Jesus is that answer. Uh, one of the things I like about Justin Martyr is, even though he's got this super intellectual side to him, um, he gets executed, his head gets chopped off mm -hmm. with six of his followers, because he will not renounce Jesus, and it's this really simple setting where, you know, acknowledge the gods, no, I'm not going to do that, all right. Um, and so even though there's this intellectual side to him, there's this very personal friendship with Jesus that he was, is not uh, willing to renounce. And that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Uh, anyway, great, great account of uh, Justin Martyr. If you guys have any questions, by the way, uh, go ahead and hit my phone up and uh, let me know, and we'll do our best to talk about it. We'll see yeah. you next time.